Everybody knows that the Henry magazine problem was only a myth because the originals used rimfire, and rimfire won't ever detonate in the magazine tube, except for the fact that it's rimfire. So all you got to do is crush the rim. And what you got here is a big old hammer that's ramming down on a sack of cartridges. On top of all of that, the original Henry's magazine's tube were a lot thinner than the reproductions and were prone to denting. So imagine getting a cartridge stuck halfway down, and then the magazine follower slammed on top of the cartridge. On top of all of that, Civil War rimfire is not like a modern day rimfire. They're made differently. They're much larger, different metals, different quality controls. These are bullets made in times of war. There are going to be in imperfections. You have a larger rim that's bigger surface area for something to get caught. Potential imperfections in the bullets designed themselves. Oh, look at that little sharp guy. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it ever did happen or is likely to happen because the one guy who's in charge of deciding whether or not we adopt it said it was a potential problem and that's one of the reasons he didn't adopt it.